this is the overview of my second shelf, which is all the books that I've read besides my favorites at the moment. So this is the first shelf, and they're really not in any particular order, so let's just get right into it. The first book series that we have over here are the Children of the Red King series, which I read when I was younger. This entire series is by Jenny Nimmo, and they are Midnight for Charlie Bone, Charlie Bone and the Time Twister, Charlie Bone and the Invisible Boy, Charlie Bone and the Castle of Mirrors, Charlie Bone and the Hidden King, Charlie Bone and the Beast, Charlie Bone and the Shadow, and Charlie Bone and the Red Knight. Over here we have Breadcrumbs by Anne Ursa. Then we have the Book of Lies trilogy by James Maloney. I know these look like they don't go long, but this is the only book that's sold in America, and these other two are sold in Australia, so I had a special order from family give them to me. So this is the Book of Lies by James Maloney, Master of the Books, and the book from Bed and Dark. Then we have the Killer Pizza duology, sorry I just switched them because it was annoying me, by Greg Taylor, and they are Killer Pizza and The Slice. Then we have the Fable Haven series by Brandon Mull. The first one is Fable Haven, then The Rise of the Evening Star, Grip of the Shadow Plague, Secrets of the Dragon Sanctuary, then Keys to the Demon Prison. Then up here we have the Nightmare Academy series by Dean Laurie, and they are Monster Hunters, Monster Madness, and Monster War. Then lastly, over here we have the Books of Umber series by P.W. Catanese, and they are Happenstance Found, Dragon Games, and The End of Time. Okay, on my second shelf, we have Incarceron and Safik, which are both by Katherine Fisher. Then right here we have The Caster Chronicles by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, which are beautiful creatures, beautiful darkness, beautiful chaos, and beautiful redemption. Then right here we have the Inkart trilogy, which is Inkart, Ink Spell, and Ink Death. Then here we have 13 Days to Midnight by Patrick Carmen. Then here we have The Chronicles of Vladimir Todd by... Heather Brewer, and they are 8th grade Bites, 9th grade Slays, 10th grade Bleeds, 11th grade Burns, and 12th grade Kills. Then lastly, over here we have the Skin Jacker Trilogy by Neil Shusterman, and they are Ever Lost, Ever Wild, and Ever Found. Okay, so for these next two shelves, I don't have a tripod that goes that low, so you're going to have to deal with a little bit of wobbliness, because yeah, this is where it goes. So. For this first series, we have by Margaret Peterson Haddix, which is the Missing series, and they are Found, Sent, Sabotaged, Torn, and Caught. And then right here, we have the Atherton Trilogy by Patrick Carmen, and they are Atherton, The House of Power, Rivers of Fire, and The Dark Planet. Then right here, we have The Eleventh Plague by Jeff Hirsch. Then we have Divergent by Veronica Roth, Unwind by Neil Shusterman, Gone by Michael Grant, and The Dead by Charlie Higson, and I also have The Enemy, which is the first one, but my brother has it at the moment. And then we have Virals by Kathy Reaches, I think. And then over here, we have another copy of Divergent and the Barcode Tattoo Trilogy, which is the Barcode Tattoo, the Barcode Rebellion, and the Barcode Prophecy. Okay, so this is my last shelf of my red shelf, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's get started. So over here on the bottom, we have Things That Go Bump in the Night by Patrick Cummins, which goes along with his 315 stories. Then we have Spooky New England, which is a bunch of collections of stories that are like ghost stories in New England. Then we have the Skeleton Creek series, which is Skeleton Creek, Ghost in the Machine, The Crossbones, and The Raven by Patrick Carmen. Then up here we have All the Lovely Bad Ones by Mary Downing Hahn. Then we have Ghost Hunt by Jason Hoss and Grant Wilson, which are from the TV show, which I used to be obsessed with. I love that show. Even if it was fake or not, I still liked it. Then we have The Seer of Shadows by Avi. Then we have the Scary Stories trilogy, which is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, More Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and Scary Stories 3, More Tales to Chill Your Bones, which is something that, like, I would just read for silly little stories, like, back in elementary school. Then we have The Ghost of Greylock by Dan Pulbaki and The Stone Child by Dan Pulbaki. Then over here we have Every Soul a Star by Wendy Mass, which was a cute little story that I enjoyed reading. Then right after we have... 
the first three books in the IQ series by Roland Smith, and that is IQ, The White House, and Kitty Hawk. Then over here we have the Homelanders series by Andrew Clavin, which is the last thing I remember, The Long Way Home, The Truth of the Matter, and The Final Hour. Then over here we have some more Roland Smith books, and this is the Cryptid Hunters series, which is Cryptid Hunters, Tentacles, and Chupacabra. And then over here we have Storm Runners, The Surge, and Eruption, all by Roland Smith once more. Then down here we have the Trackers duology by Patrick Carmen, which is just Trackers Book 1 and Trackers Book 2. Then we have the 39 Clues series by various authors, and they are The Maze of Bones, One False Note, The Sword Thief, Beyond the Grave, The Black Circle, In Too Deep, The Viper's Nest, The Emperor's Code, Storm Morning, Into the Gauntlet, Vespers Rise, and then I have the Black Book of Berry Secrets. So, yeah. That was my red shelf I hope everyone enjoyed, and next up will be my favorites shelf 16.